Abraxas alias, Abrasax or Abraxas. It is a Gnostic name for the demigod who rules the 365th eon, or sphere, ascending to the unknowable god. Christian demonologists put Abraxas in the ranks of demons. In the 2nd century AD, some Gnostic and other dualistic sects, which viewed matter as evil and the spirit as good and held that salvation came through esoteric knowledge, or Gnosis, personified Abraxas and initiated a cult sometimes related to worship of the sun god. Basilides of Egypt, an early 2nd century Gnostic teacher, viewed Abraxas as the supreme deity and the source of divine emanations, the ruler of all the 365 heavens, or circles of creation one for each day of the year. The word is found in Gnostic texts such as the Holy Book of the Great Invisible Spirit, and also appears in the Greek magical papyri. It was engraved on certain antique gemstones, called on that account of Braxis stones, which were used as amulets or charms. Abraxas also was the name of a sun mounting an Ouroboros which means a snake biting its tail that held by the highest Egyptian goddess, Isis, the creator of the sun and mistress of all the gods. The seven letters spelling its name may represent each of the seven classic planets. The word may be related to abracadabra, although other explanations exist. There are similarities and differences between such figures in reports about Basilides's teaching, ancient Gnostic texts, the larger Greco-Roman magical traditions, and modern magical and esoteric writings. Speculations have proliferated on Abraxas in recent centuries, who has been claimed to be both an Egyptian god and a demon. Abraxas was associated with the Mithraic mystery religion of Persian origin, the chief rival of Christianity in Rome in its first 400 years. As did Gnosticism, Mithraism featured a complex astrology and numerology. Numerical values of Mithras and Abraxas's names each total 365. The Gnostic Abraxas created the material world and also had demonic qualities. Orthodox Christians viewed Abraxas as a demon. In turn, Abraxas became a favorite deity of heretical sects of the Middle Ages. Gnostic talismans made of carved opal show Abraxas as a figure with a human body, the head of a rooster, or occasionally a hawk, and serpent legs. His hands hold a shield and a whip, the shield usually inscribed with the name Io, reminiscent of the Jewish four-letter name of God. He is often mounted on a chariot drawn by four white horses, with both sun and moon overhead. The rooster represents wakefulness and is related to the human heart and the universal heart, the sun. The human torso embodies the principle of logos, or articulated thought. The snake legs indicate prudence. The shield is symbolic of wisdom, the great protector of divine warriors. The whip denotes the relentless driving power of life. The four horses symbolize the four ethers by which solar power is circulated throughout the universe. The seven letters of the name of Abraxas represent the seven creative powers and planetary spheres, or angels, recognized in the ancient world. The letters add up to a numerological value of 365, the number of days and powers of the year. Carl G. Jung called Abraxas the truly terrible one, because of his ability to generate truth and falsehood, good and evil, light and darkness with the same word and in the same deed. In Jungian psychology there is no easy way out of psychic conflict, one must not only fight on the side of the angels but occasionally join the host of the fallen angels. According to Jung, fear of Abraxas is the beginning of wisdom, and liberation, or Gnosis, is achieved by not resisting. Epiphanius Per, 69, 73F, appears to follow partly Irenaeus, 
partly the lost compendium of Hippolytus. He designates Abraxas more distinctly as the power above all, and first principle, the cause and first archetype, of all things, and mentions that the Basilidians refer to 365 as the number of parts mealy in the human body, as well as of days in the year. The author of the appendix to Tertullian de Praesia, her, circa 4, who likewise follows Hippolytus's compendium, adds some further particulars, that, Abraxas, gave birth to mind, the first in the series of primary powers enumerated likewise by Irenaeus and Epiphanius, that the world, as well as the 365 heavens, was created in honor of, Abraxas, and that Christ was sent not by the maker of the world but by, Abraxas. It is evident from these particulars that Abrasax was the name of the first of the 365 Archons, and accordingly stood below Sophia and Dynamis and their progenitors, but his position is not expressly stated, so that the writer of the supplement to Tertullian had some excuse for confusing him with, the Supreme God. With the availability of primary sources, such as those in the Nag Hammadi library, the identity of Abrasax remains unclear. The Holy Book of the Great Invisible Spirit, for instance, refers to Abrasax as an eon dwelling with Sophia and other eons of the Pleroma in the light of the Luminary Eleleth. In several texts, the Luminary Eleleth is the last of the Luminary's spiritual lights that come forward, and it is the eon Sophia, associated with Eleleth, who encounters darkness and becomes involved in the chain of events that leads to the Demiurge's rule of this world, and the salvage effort that ensues. As such, the role of Eons of Eleleth, including Abraxas, Sophia, and others, pertains to this outer border of the Pleroma that encounters the ignorance of the world of lack and interacts to rectify the error of ignorance in the world of materiality. In a great majority of instances the name Abrasax is associated with a singular composite figure, having a chimera-like appearance somewhat resembling a basilisk or the Greek primordial god Kronos, not to be confused with the Greek titan Cronus. According to E. A. Wallace Budge, as a pantheist, all god, he appears on the amulets with the head of a cock Phoebus, or of a lion Ra or Mithras, the body of a man, and his legs are serpents which terminate in scorpions, types of the Agathodiamond. In his right hand he grasps a club, or a flail, and in his left is a round or oval shield. This form was also referred to as the Anguipede. Budge surmised that Abrasax was, a form of the Adam Cadman of the Kabbalists and the primal man whom God made in his own image.